Hi everyone, um, happy Tuesday. Uh, welcome to today's class. Um, today we're going to be looking at um, a bit more kind of like a stretch based class. Um, we're going to start off 20 minutes, kind of like a flexibility flow. And we've then got 20 minutes roughly um, for movement based exercises. And then we're going to finish off with about 10 minutes of abs. Okay. Um, so we're going to get nice and loose to start off with. Um, so all I want everyone to do is just kind of come to the edge of their mats if they have one. Um, we're just going to slowly bend over to stretch out the back of your legs. We're going to walk your hands out into like a high plank position. We're going to walk back up. We're going to reach above our heads, stretch right out, back down. We're going to walk it back out. We're going to do that five times through. So when we walk up, stretch your arms out. So let's get those back of the legs nicely warmed up. We've got one more. At the bottom this time, we're going to stay in that high plank. We're going to come up into our first pigeon stretch, okay? So we're just going to keep up nice and tall to start off with. And we're going to hold that for 30 seconds. So just get that nice stretch through your glute muscle. Really good stuff. So like I said, 30 seconds holding this, and then we're going to switch our legs over and do the same on the other leg. So back up into high plank, and we're going to switch onto the other leg. So 30 second hold here. Once we've done 30 seconds here, I'm going to go back into our pigeon stretch, but I just want you to come up into our first downward dog, okay? So step it up, into downward dog, hold for a couple of breaths, take the first leg back up. This time we're just going to drop down onto our forearms, we're just coming a little bit deeper into that stretch now. So again, just feeling that stretch through your hips. Once we've done 30 seconds, we'll just come back up into high plank and swap the legs over. Perfect, back into high plank then. Swap the leg and drop it down. The nice deep breaths into that hip again. From here, we're going to come back up into our downward dog. We've got another 10 seconds. So three, two, one, into high plank, and then up into downward dog, okay? So we're gonna hold for 30 seconds, and we're just gonna come up onto our tiptoes to start off with. So it's onto your tiptoes. And then from there, we're just gonna push our heels down to the floor. Just stretching out through the back of your legs a little bit more. Really, really good work, guys. And then from there, you want to step your left foot up outside your left hand. Good. So we're just coming into this hip flexor position to start off with. So we're just going to push that hip gently down into the floor. So just stretch it out through the front of your leg. Perfect. From there, we're just going to add those arm circles in. Just start waking up the upper body. So five with your left arm. And then do five with your right arm. Nice job. From here, I want you to just take that knee off the floor, straighten out the back leg, and we're going to take that left hand up. 
And I want you to push your right hand into the floor and try and take your left fingers as far away from the floor as possible while keeping a nice straight leg, okay? So straighten out the legs. We're gonna work through your hip flexor, through your hips, and now starting to add in that upper body. So really push your hands away, so really lengthening through our chest here. Five more seconds. So three, two, one. Bring the left hand back down, right knee down to the floor. We're just gonna come up into a slightly deeper hip flexor stretch now. So just up nice and tall. We're gonna take our hands above our head to start off with, really focusing on tucking the pelvis under. So 30 seconds here, and then we're gonna add a bit of a lean in. We're gonna lean over our left leg. So just gently lean over to the left, try not to lean too far forward. We're just coming right over to the side. Just starting to open up through your side. Ten more seconds here. So three, two, and one. From here, with your back knee, so I'm going to stay in this position. You don't need to twist that back foot round about ninety degrees. And we're now just going to push your knee over your left foot and take your arms out. So we're just going to start opening up through your groin a little bit here. And again, it's nice and relaxed through the shoulders, but arms out nice and straight. So you really want to try and square your body round here. And just gently take that over the front leg a little bit more just to stretch out through your groin. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, relax the arms. This time, if you have a block, you can use a block. We're just going to try and come a little bit deeper down into that groin stretch because you're trying to get your elbows down to the floor. So if you have a block or a pillow, you can just come down onto that. We're going to hold that for 30 seconds as well. Get a nice deep stretch through your groin. So three, two, and one. Just come back up nice and tall, hands on the floor, and you just rotate that foot back round into your hip flexor stretch. Okay, from here, we just take that foot off. Okay, so just gonna go a little bit deeper into that quad now we've loosened up. Come up nice and tall if you can, and then if you can reach round your left hand, take hold of that right foot. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that there. You wanna take your arm above your head as well, just to get a bit more of a stretch. You can really pull that foot up towards your foot bum. Ten more seconds. So three, two, one. Slowly relax that foot back down to the floor. We're going to step the left foot back up into our downward dog. Just hold for a couple of breaths. We've done quite a lot of work through one side. From there, we're going to do the other side now. So set your right foot up outside your right hand. And we're just going to drop the left knee down this time. Okay, so we're just going to hold that bottom position to get that hip flexor nice and loose before we add our arm rotations in. Perfect. From there, five rotations of that right arm coming round. Once you've done five, five on the left. Really good stuff. Bring that hand back down to the floor. We're going to straighten that leg out and rotate. Okay, so try and straighten the leg out and then push your right hand right up to the ceiling and push your left hand into the floor. So we're really opening up through your chest. And we're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Couple more breaths, we've got five more seconds. So three, two, 
One, bring that right hand back down to the floor. Left knee down. And we're just gonna come up into that taller hip flexor stretch. And we can add the arms in if you wish. And then we're going to add that lean over. So we're going to lean over to the right, okay? So add that lean over. Really good stuff, guys. A couple more breaths here then. So three, two, and one. Right, we're then going to twist that left foot round. So we're going to tuck it under, okay? And we're going to just push over our knee, take our arms out to the side. Okay, so we're just really opening up through that hip space there. So really try and rotate your torso right round here. So 30 seconds, done 15. So just add a bit more of a lean over now to feel that stretch through your groin. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Then you can use your block. I'm gonna come down onto our elbows, just get a bit of a deeper stretch going on there. 30 seconds here. Really good work. Five seconds. So three, two, and one. Back up, twist the knee back round. So we're just gonna go a bit deeper into that hip flexor stretch. So just bring the left heel up and then just reach round if you can with your right hand. Whoops. And bring that hand up. Didn't quite hold my foot there. If you want to just take a hip flexor stretch, you can. Don't worry about taking your foot if you can't reach it. Five more seconds here. So three, two, and one. Relax it down. We're going to step back up into our downward dog position. Up onto your tiptoes. We're going to do another 30 seconds here. So 15 seconds on your tiptoes. And then we're just going to drop those heels down. You're stretching out through the back of your legs. A couple more breaths. So three, two, and one. Really good stuff. Just drop down to your knees then. I'm just going to twist so you can see a little bit better. So we just drop down onto our knees from our downward dog. We're going to take your left foot out to the side. We're just going to sit back and again, just have a bit of a stretch through our groin there. So 30 seconds, just find that point where you're getting the best stretch through your inner thigh. So just take that left foot out, okay? You can also think about pulling the toes up or pointing the toes. You probably find one of those positions will give you a bit of a deeper stretch. From here then, just want to bring your right hand around in line with your right side of your hip. And we're just going to lean up and over now. So it's just going to take that stretch from the groin more into your side. So really try and lean over as far as you can with this stretch. Ten more seconds. So three, two, one. Bring it round. Slide your right uh, left foot back in, and we're going to do the same on the right now. So take your right foot out, and then just find that point in your groin. We you get a bit of a deeper stretch. We're going to hold that for thirty seconds.
Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Take your left hand round in line with your right hip then. And that right hand's coming over. You're just stretching out through your right side now. Good stuff. Um, ten more seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Relax that back round. I'm just going to twist back round so you can see. But back onto your knees. We're then going to come back up into our downward dog. We're just going to hold for a couple of breaths. And then from there, we're just going to come round into our first cobra. So down to the floor, pressing up. We're just going to hold that cobra position for 30 seconds. You can just think about having a little squeeze in your bum, just to keep the core engaged. And really pull those shoulders back and down. So like I said, we're going to hold this for 30 seconds, back up into the downward dog. And we're then going to come into a baby cobra, okay? So three, two, one. Take it back up. Couple of breaths. We're going to come back down, drop down to the floor. This time we're going to come onto our forearms and we're going to squeeze up. Okay, so it's just going to hit your upper back a tiny bit more on this one. Keep nice and relaxed on those shoulders, keep the core nice and tight. From here, we're going to come back up into a downward dog and we're then going to come into child's pose. So three, two, one. Take it back up. A couple of breaths here. And then from there, just drop to your knees. Walk your hands right out. But really try to lengthen through your spine here. So 30 seconds. We're gonna then gonna repeat that round once more, okay? So a couple more breaths. Three, two, one. Back up into you come um, into your downward dog, a couple of breaths. We'll then come over, down, and we're going to come back up into our cobra. From here, this time, I just want you to look over your left shoulder. So it's going to add a little bit of a rotation for 15 seconds. Really good. And then over your right shoulder. Perfect, back to the middle, up to down the dog, couple of breaths here. And from there, back down to the floor, onto those forearms, up into your baby cobra, same thing, 15 seconds looking over our left shoulder. Back to the center, over to the right. Really good stuff, relax. Back up to down the dog. A couple of breaths here. Drop to your knees. Into child's pose, we're gonna walk your hands over to the left. Hold for 15 seconds. And then we're then going to walk it over to the right.
Gonna go back to the middle. Right, from here, we're gonna loosen up through our spine a little bit more. So just up and down. Once you've done three or four, just take those into circles. So pushing out, round and over. And we'll go three, one way, three, the other way. Perfect. And then to finish off the flow, back up into downward dog. We're gonna walk our hands up. Stretch it back over like we did at the start. Rather than five, we're just going to do three of these. So legs nice and straight. Walk it back out. Walk it up. Stretch out. Walk it out. Walk it up. Last one, big stretch at the top and relax. Really good stuff, so you should feel quite loose after doing that. Um, so we are gonna go into our little activation circuits and the functional movements. It's all really low impact stuff today. So we've basically got three exercises. Um, some of them might be the same exercise, but left and right. But there'll be three things. Um, and we're gonna go around three times, 30 seconds on each. Nice quick transitions between them. Um, so it's going to be about four and a half minutes of work, and then we'll take a 30 second breather while I quickly explain the next set. And that's going to be our next 20 minutes then, okay? So our first one then, we're going to come into a side bridge, okay? So you're going to be here, elbow on the floor, pressing up. So 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side. Once we've done that, we're going to come round into a glute bridge. Okay, so we're really working our legs to start off with there. Okay, it's so like I said, 30 seconds on each of those. And we'll go in three, two, and one. Let's go. So drive up. Ten more seconds and we're going to change sides. Three, two, one. Switch it over. Really good work. So fill that three glutes through your side. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Straight into bridges then. So thirty seconds. And we're doing those bridges today. We really want to tuck your pelvis under, keep the abs tight, and then squeeze up. So actively squeeze under, squeeze up. Really good work, guys. We've got five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Back onto those side bridges then. So we're not resting for the four and a half minutes. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, switch it over, straight in onto the other side. Drive it up. Really, really good work there, guys. Drive up, feel it through your sides so with hips coming down, push up. Three, two, 
one, back onto bridges, then we tuck under, three, two, one. Really good stuff, guys. 10 seconds left here, then we're back onto those side bridges. One more round through. The three, two, one. Onto your side there. I'm gonna pop this under my elbow. Nice, drive it up, guys. Feel those glutes burning. Feel the side working. Five seconds, three, two, one. Switch it over, straight in. Last round of these. Ten seconds, and then we're on our last 30 seconds. Three. Two, one, onto your back. Last 30 seconds. Halfway guys, remember that squeeze under and up. Squeeze through the glutes. Three, two, one. Good first round, guys. So that's a 30 second breather. Next three exercises, a bit more focused on upper body. So we have got shoulder taps. And I start back, tapping your shoulders. From there, plank rotations. And then from there, like we did last week, onto your forearms, down the dog, up. Down the dog, okay? So there are three exercises. So grab a quick drink. Right, three, two, one, let's go. Shoulder taps then. So nice and slow with these today. Try and not move those hips. Right, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Straight into plank rotations. Can't remember if I said at the start, guys, but we're gonna do four rounds like this. Well, not four rounds of these three exercises. We've got four different circuits to make up the 20 minutes. Five seconds, three, two, one. Into that plank position, up into your downward dog. Press up, repeat that downward dog. Down, up. Might start to feel this one a little bit in your core as well. When we're in that high plank position, it's gonna hit the abs. Three, two, one. Back right, to shoulder taps. Hips nice and still. So imagine you've got a tennis ball on your back. Right, like 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Plank rotations. Right, 
Really good work, guys. So pull that arm right round. So really working through your back on this one. Three, two, one. Into that downward dog. Back to the flat. Plank it down. Take it up. Remember just to switch your lead arms on this one as well. Three, two, one. Those arms should be feeling it now. Really good work. Back to shoulder taps. Hips nice and still. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Rotations. We've got one more minute of work. We've got these rotations. And then we've got those plank press with the downward dog. And then we've got a 30 second break. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Into downward dog, back to flat. Drop it down, let your bum up. Five seconds to go, guys, nearly there. Three, two and one. 30 seconds. Next round is going to be a little, little bit more on our lower body again. Okay, so we have got a left leg and a right leg. Split squat. So 30 seconds down and up with your right leg in front. 30 seconds with your left leg in front. We're then going to come into squats. Okay, we're going to do that for three rounds. Four and a half minutes of work. Quick drink and then we're going. So three, two, one, let's go. So split squat. So kick a leg. Get this nice and slow. Really focus on squeezing up through your right glute. You've got your right leg in front. Squeeze up through that right glute. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Switch it over. Nice and slow. Feel the burn. We don't need to rush this today. It's more about strength. Getting those little muscles switched on. Getting a nice burn rather than getting our heart rate up too much. Five seconds. Three. Two, one, into squats. We'll go hands on your head for these squats as well. So we just get a bit of activation through your back. It just help keep your chest up. Tummy nice and tight on these as well. 30 seconds here. Three, Ten seconds to go. That's one round done. So three, two, one. Right leg back in front, split squat. Ten seconds and we switch. Three, two, one, swap it over. Nice slow tempo. Ten 
Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Back into squats, hands on your head. Take it down. Nice slow tempo on this. Once we're done here, we've got one more round of these. Five seconds. So three, two, one. Right leg back in front. Last time on each leg then. Halfway. Three, two, one. Switch the legs over. Last 30 on this leg. Fifteen more seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Last round of squats. Ten seconds. Keep going, guys. Nearly there on these. Three, two, and one. Rest for thirty seconds. One more round through. We're going back onto upper body. So we have got back extensions. Then you can either come into a bear ball position, twist it round, and up into our bridges. Twist round, not into a bridge, or that's a little bit complicated. Start off here, reach up and over. Okay, same thing, but one's just a little bit more flowy. And then the last one, a bit of a mind blank. Crab walks, how can I forget? So we're gonna lift your bum off, and we're just gonna walk forwards. I'm going to walk backwards with our bum off the floor. Okay, so there are three exercises. 30 seconds on each of those. Then we're going to take a breather and go into abs. So three, two, one. Let's go back extensions then. Halfway on these, so again, nice slow tempo. Keep the tummies nice and tight. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Then, up here, twisting round. Or starting in the bridge and then just swapping your arms without the twist. We're just stretching it out through our backs on this one and round our shoulders. We just want to drive those hips right up. Three, two, one. We're then going into crab walks. So straight in. I haven't left myself much space. Halfway. So keep your hips up off the floor. Hitting those triceps, shoulders on this. Three, two, one. Straight back into back extensions then. Round two. Halfway on these.
Last five. Three, two, one. I'm going to do the second variation just to mix it up and just in case you weren't sure. We're just going to sit, drive up, get those hips up as high as you can. Try and follow your hand right over. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Back into crab walks. Keep the hips up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Last round. Back extensions. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. Take it round and twist. Remember the two different variations. Pick which one works for you. As always, it's your workout. Do what feels the best for you, what's going to give you the most effective workout. It's not always the hardest exercises. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Last round of crab walks. Halfway. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest there. Right, we'll take a minute breather before we go on to abs. So our abs, I do we'll do 10 minutes of abs. We're gonna work for 45 seconds, rest for 15 seconds. 10 different ab exercises. So we're only doing each exercise once. So 45 seconds of work, 15 second rest. I'll go through the exercises in the rest rather than give you 10 exercises right now. So just follow along with me as always. So the first one we're gonna do, I think you're nice and straightforward. There's gonna be a sit up. Okay, so lips are coming down and coming up. Okay, so nice and straightforward. 45 seconds. We'll go in three, two, one. Let's go. So if you need to tuck your feet under the sofa, that's fine. If you can't do full sit-ups, just come up into little crunches, but just get those abs working. We have 20 seconds left here. Last five. So three, two, one. Right, we're going to stay on your back, hands under your bum, scissor kicks up for four, down for four, then in and out, up for four, down for four. And we'll go in three, two, one. So it's a one, two, three, four, and back up. Switch to in and out for four. So while we're coming in and out, we're just taking those legs up and down. Test your coordination. So that is halfway. Five 
Five more seconds here. Three, two, and one. Really good stuff, guys. And come around onto your front next. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. 45 seconds. We'll go in three, two, and one. So really take that knee right up. Halfway. Nearly there, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Side plank next. And we'll switch it halfway on this one. So on your forearm, if you need to have that bottom leg to under and come up, that's fine. Three, two, one. If not, we're here. So we're gonna change after about 20 seconds. Keep your head looking forward. So get ready to change in three, two, and one. Swap sides. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Line on your back, leg up nice and straight. Right hand to left foot, left hand to right foot. Five seconds. So three, two, and one. So really try and tap those toes. There's little crunches. It's gonna hit those obliques. Really good work here. Keep squeezing up through those abs. 15 seconds left. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Next one, we've got a reverse crunch, my leg raise. So legs up when we get to here. Lift off and push to the ceiling. So three, two, one, let's go. So take it up and crunch down to the floor. This is exercise six, by the way. So we're doing really well. We've got four to go after this. So really try and push those feet right up to the ceiling. Last couple of reps. Three, two, one. Round onto your front then. We're going to come up into down dog, take your leg up through into a knee tuck and then swap sides. So we'll go in three, two and one. So take it up, try and get that leg right up. If you can, try and touch your nose on your knee. A little challenge. Just to get a little bit more of a crunch in. Fifteen seconds to go. Five 
three, two, one. We're then coming down into a regular plank. Okay, so on our forearms, if you need to be on your knees, that's fine. Five seconds, three, two, one. 45 seconds, squeeze those shoulders back and down. Tummy's nice and tight. So keep squeezing. After this, we've got two exercises to go. 20 seconds left here. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. We're then going to do a sit up. Straight arms, twist side to side. And we'll just take what side we twist first. We'll change each rep. So three, two, one. Sit up. Rotate. Fifteen seconds to go. Three, two, one. Last forty-five. It's gonna be bicycles, and then we are done. So five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. 45 seconds now. Third away. Keep it going. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, got to save my least favorites at the end. Really good work today, guys. Good session. Like I said, quite low impact today. We will just have a very quick stretch, but we should be feeling pretty stretched out after everything we've done. So we just start standing, stretch out the back of your legs. Then use the wall for balance, peel up to your bum. And we'll switch sides. Go we'll take an arm across your body and then just switch on the side. And then last one, just take it up and over. Cool. Good work. That is us done today. Uh, so Thursday, as always, will be a bit more high intensity. So hopefully see you guys then. Have a really good couple of days. And um, hope you enjoyed today.